So hi, my name is David Olson. I've been on camera before, but I work in production with uh, Right Stuff and Nozomi Entertainment. And I'm Judy Albert, who we've met before too. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about uh, the vault, which is basically the place where we keep a lot of our archive materials, a lot of old um, tapes, reel-to-reel, -reel, anything that is sent to us from the Japanese in terms of what we need in order to produce the shows that we produce. Um, any of the artwork that they send us, basically anything that we need in order to produce the shows, but also anything that we've made, uh, samples of it, and materials and things that we want archived and stored and preserved so that they stay in as good a condition as possible. So the vault room is temperature controlled and it is typically kept in a very dark environment um, so that the materials inside aren't damaged. But we've gone ahead and we've turned on the light and we've unlocked it so we can show you the vault today. So, yes. right this way, please. The section that we're in really is probably the oldest portion of the storage section. It's where we keep a lot of the older materials that are on like reel to reel or umatic or um, older formats like D2, things that we don't often have to access. Uh, these materials, we've kept a lot of them. A lot of them may or may not be in good enough shape to even use nowadays just because they've been archived away and they've been on that format for such a long period of time. You're talking in some cases maybe 40 years or so, in some, or maybe longer, yeah. especially in the case of the reels. Yeah. But we do keep a record of it and keep track of as much of it as possible because there's always the off chance that you might need to go back to some really, really old format to pull up the materials that you need for a show, particularly the older shows. Like for example, like a lot of this is, at least in our background here, is the Astro Boy reels and that type of thing. So when the restoration job was done to put the show out on DVD, in some cases, or actually in many cases, they had to go back to these reels to pull the video. And yeah, yeah so we've got an example of one of them. Basically right here. what it looks like here. Um, this is probably the oldest material that we have in the vault. Uh, so this is called a can. And then inside is the reel, and you can see it's all packaged and sealed. <laughs> I don't want to touch it too much, but yeah. But yeah, so this is an original Astro Boy print. Yep. But everything in here is kept in a temperature-controlled environment, and it's kept in a way that it is not exposed to light, so as to preserve the materials as long as possible. And so we try to make sure that the environment that the materials are kept in is as pristine as possible. Pristine as possible. <laughs> So once we get to a little bit more of a modern era, a lot of what we dealt with, at least I want to say through the late 90s into a good portion of the 2000s, is we dealt with a lot of di uh, stuff that was delivered to us on DigiBeta tape, which are what these tapes are here. Um, that was kind of the predominant format that we would receive in the DVD era. And all the material, it's again another type of tape, but the, the format at least is a little bit better at preserving quality and ensuring that the video and the audio looks as good as possible. In many cases, these tapes still are in great shape. Like if you were to load one up into the deck and play it, you'd be really stunned to see how great the video looks. But of course, the DigiBeta tapes only hold video at a SD resolution. You're not going to have HD materials on a DigiBeta tape. To get to HD, um, they'll use a different type of tape, which is an HD cam. We have a few of those as well. I think one up there, if you want to show. Yep. Here, I'll take that one. Yeah. So this is an HD cam, very similar. They both just look like big VHS tapes, basically. Yeah. So oftentimes, uh, HD materials would be delivered to us on an HD cam, but honestly, uh, a vast majority of the stuff that we re receive nowadays, at least, is just delivered to us digitally. And then we can store them on hard drives or we can load them onto long-term storage tapes and that type of thing. And that works great for our purposes nowadays. And I think it's a lot more convenient too for the Japanese uh, companies as well because then they're not having to ship overseas, you know, pounds and pounds and pounds of these heavy tapes. Well, and plus, either sometimes, either they give you the original, which is very dangerous because then if the other company loses the master, the show is gone, or they have to pay to make a copy, which is very expensive. So digital solves all that. Yes, it does. Yeah, it certainly does. There have been a couple times, actually, where we've been contacted by one of the Japanese companies, and they were looking to see if, they, if we had any tapes of a certain title or a certain series, and they wanted us to check our vault and our materials to see if we had something like that on hand. 
you know, sometimes we have, sometimes we haven't, that kind of thing. We do keep a lot of things archived, and we try to make copies of everything that we receive just yeah. so that we have something that we can keep in case we need to send the materials back to Japan, and then you never know what can happen, too. Exactly. I mean, you're shipping things overseas, things get lost, it's, you know, obviously the worst outcome, but, <laughs> yeah, so. But yeah, this is the yes. DigiBeta stuff. This is mostly what we use on DVD, HD cam, and then digital files, hard drives, that kind of thing for more modern. And just if you find it interesting at all, this is um, every HD cam tells you, well, the DigiBetas as well. They come with a sheet, hopefully, that tells you what is on the tape. So it gives you the time code and then the, the content of the tape itself. try to keep a collection of all the different things that we've made or produced. So we'll have copies of all the shows that we've worked on. We'll have copies of all of the uh, physical goods and materials that we've created. Archive of uh, any kind of booklet materials, goods like items and like plushies or figures. We have artwork, you know, pencil boards and sketches. If we're lucky, sometimes we've even gotten physical copies of the scripts for the shows, mm -hmm. which in some cases have had really interesting things like where you might see um, you know, entire lines and sections crossed out where they ad-libbed or improvised or changed the dialogue in the show on the fly and you can actually see their writing in the place and where they changed these lines and wrote in what the lines are going to be. In the past I remember there were times where we would have to take these scripts and scan the pages <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a Xerox a or a, a, a photocopier mm -hmm. and then send these pages to translators. To get them translated, Because yeah. yeah. it was the only copy we had. Yeah, so, so that was the, the dark ages. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we have a lot of stuff back here that's basically like a record of everything that we've ever made or created. 